head blocks. Now I do have a few head blocks. Um, I have a head block library and some of you might have no head blocks but you might be wanting to buy some head blocks and sometimes it's very difficult to know what to buy. When I bought my first head block I thought I'm looking at a camping toilet seat and if you look at this you probably can forgive me to actually thinking that and that's many years ago when I didn't know much about hats. So hat blocks can be daunting for people who do not know nothing about. Now they are made from wood. Different countries use different woods. Europe uses a lot of soft woods because there are no hardwoods. Australia has a tendency now to use a lot of hardwood which is not so very very easy to put pins in when it comes to blocking material. The hat block makers are very few these days available and hat block making is a trait in its own right. It is often not good enough to just be an enthusiastic ha uh, wood person who has a lathe and decides oh I'm just gonna make a hat block. A hat block maker needs to know about style, about how a hat is balanced, how a hat is supposed to sit and he has to be able to read a drawing a milliner might give him for a particular hat. Now when you look at this for example this is a brim and if I translate that for you if I wear this on my head this line here would be the way the hat would look when it comes off the block. There are brims with holes in it and there are brims with no holes in it. This is a brim which would also sit on the head like this but I can't try it out. You have to visualize it. You have to see it. Very many different styles are available when it comes to hat blocks. Brims in all shapes in all sizes and then we have crowns the top of the head hat excuse me you will actually find when you listen to me there will be many glitches in how I speak it might be difficult for you to understand my accent but English is not my first language and I like to run my videos so people actually feel they are part of it. This is life. I do make mistakes and I believe greatly in making mistakes we actually learn a great deal. So celebrate it. Mistake! Crowns. More crowns. Different shaped crowns flat crowns and they have holes on the bottom as you can see and here. The reason for that is to hang on when you pull something off and to put a headstand inside when you actually block it.
So as I was explaining to you, the three holes on the bottom is for the stand. This is a head stand, head block stand. And it helps you moving the object around and when you put it on the table you can actually block and pin underneath. So a block without a stand is a bit tricky to use. I mean you can always improvise and put a cup underneath but that is not very secure. So try to find yourself a stand. If there's a hole you need a stand with a pin like this and if you have a hat block which might have only a little hole in the middle and two holes on the side that means you need a stand with a pin a metal pin which fits this so those are the two options and you will find as you buy head blocks there's either a little hole or a large one in the middle requiring different stands this block we call five section block. The reason? Because it has one, two, three, four, five sections which can be disassembled. Every single one of them you can take off like so and they fit back together again. Therefore they're also called, because it's a bit of a puzzle, they also called puzzle blocks. But that's not so a common name. Well, it's not known to me anyway. It might be in some parts of the world they're only known as puzzle blocks. Um, the, the five section blocks, the reason why they come apart is so when I have shaped my material over it, I can obviously not take it off without ripping. So I would pull my felt and material, straw, cinema, whatever you're using, you turn it upside down and then you would remove the middle part and the sections and they come out one by one and you have an intact um, hat which does not get this deformed when you actually take it off the block. What you have to be very careful of is when you take them off the shelf or use them because they come apart they can easily drop and being wood you can chip them and break them. When you look at this puzzle block or five section block, same thing, but it has a stand. Does still the same pull, pin, and afterwards when it's uh, blocked, blocking means pulling hat making materials over a wooden hat block and hold it with pins, stiffen it, that is called blocking. So when this is finished, this process, you turn it upside down, you remove the middle part, and if I'm going to do this now, it probably will fall apart on me. See, I get the middle part out, like so. And all those bits get taken out of the hat. So when you see those around, they're probably more expensive. And sometimes you can get them really cheap because people think they're broken. 